You are watching Ubuntu Boot Camp Part 9. And say, it's starting to get a little hot in here. Well, that is because we're building a firewall, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now on Spatry's Cup of Wind. And the moral of this story is, never let Spatry get too carried away with all the special effects that Katie and Lai and Blender have to offer. <laughs> but I did have a lot of fun making that intro. All right, we're talking about firewalls today. And as a uh, former Windows Power user, there were all these applications you could download online for Windows. They just had a set it and forget it feature. You push a button. It would set up your firewall and your, per and your computer was pretty much locked down. But unfortunately, we don't have anything like that in Linux. And to set up a firewall in Linux is a little bit more difficult to do. But the thing is, Ubuntu has made it a little bit easier for us to be able to do that. Now, I'm going to read to you something from the uh, Ubuntu wiki. And uh, this is the introduction um, to the firewalls. Uh, the Linux kernel in Ubuntu provides a packet filtering system called NetFilter. And the traditional interface for manipulating NetFilter are the IP table suite of commands. IP tables provides a complete firewall solution that is both highly configurable and highly flexible. Becoming proficient in IT tables takes time, and getting started with NetFilter firewalling using only IP tables can be a difficult task. As a result, many front ends for IP tables have been created over the years, each trying to achieve a different result and targeting a different audience. Now, the firewall that comes pre-built with Ubuntu is command line based, uh, and it's called the Uncomplicated Firewall, or UFW. Let me tell you folks, there isn't anything uncomplicated about it. If you're new to Linux, this is something that would probably scare you away. But the good news is there is a nice front end you can download uh, to be able to control this. And it's really not all that difficult to use. So let's go ahead and open up our terminal here and we'll issue a simple command to download this file. And this is sudo apt get install gufw put a space there oh, and I see I did some uh, there okay that looks better and that should work for us okay once that's finished installing we can close our terminal out and then just open up your dash and just type in GUFW and you will get the firewall configuration. Now, upon launching this application, you will need to unlock it. So press the unlock button and give it your password. Now it's just a matter of turning it on. Once you've got this turned on, it's going to block incoming traffic but allow outgoing traffic. You'll still be able to surf the internet, though. Let's pull up Firefox. So, if we did a search for... Spatry... Okay, we've got internet act access here. Let's go ahead and add some rules to this. By pressing the plus button here, we have some pre-configured things that we can do with this. I like to click the show extended actions because then it gives us more options. Okay? There are rule numbers that you can insert. You can plus or minus. Okay? We can select to allow or deny. We're going to deny a service. 
I'm going to select a service from the list, and I'm going to choose Secure Shell. All right, so now, once we add this rule, we, I will not be able to use Secure Shell to get into my system. And you will see that now, in here, we have this rule added. But let's say we want to allow connections to a program. And, of course, transmission is installed with Ubuntu by default, so we will allow transmission that way. You know, using Ubuntu, I can go on Linux Tracker and I can download some different distributions to try out and review. BitTorrent seems to be a lot faster than downloading from a lot of servers out there, so that's the preferable method that I'll use when downloading any kind of Linux distribution. So, I'll definitely want to be able to add a rule for this. And then you will see we have more roles that are added. Now, in the simple interface here, we can allow or deny you know, certain IP addresses. And this is where you would type in those IP addresses there. Now, I do have guides in the show notes that all of you guys can look at that will give you more information on using this function. Then, of course, there is an advanced function as well that you can use. Really not all that familiar with this functionality here. I cannot stress enough that Google is your friend. If you want to know more about configuring and using this firewall utility, a simple search for Ubuntu GUFW revealed uh, some community Ubuntu documentation that will teach you how to use this in greater detail than I've been able to cover. Gives you information on installation and how to use it along with screenshots. So there's a lot of documentation out there that'll help you to set the best possible firewall for your system. Mm -hmm.